Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas, and his special guest, the President of the Republic of China, Taiwan, His Excellency Dr. Ma Ying Yi. Please be seated. <clears throat> Your Excellency, Ms. Dr. Ma Ying Zhe, President of the Republic of China on Taiwan, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas, Prime Minister of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honorable Curtis Martin, Speaker of the National Assembly, your Excellency, Secretary General of the National Security Council, Secretary General Yan, of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Honorable Dr. Earl Asim Martin, Deputy Prime Minister of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. The Honorable Patrice Nisbet, Minister of Foreign Affairs of St. Kitts and Nevis. Your Excellency, David Yin, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Other honorable ministerial representatives of the delegations of the Republic of China, Taiwan, and the St. Kitts and Nevis. Members of the legislature of the Republic of China on Taiwan. Your Excellency, Mr. Joseph Edmead, Cabinet Secretary. Your Excellency, Mr. Elvis Newton, Head of the Civil Service. Other senior government officials of the governments of St. Kitts and Nevis and the Republic of China, Taiwan. Other distinguished representatives of the Republic of China, Taiwan and of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the media. We have the distinct honor to once again welcome to the Federation our esteemed President of the Republic of China on Taiwan, His Excellency Dr. Ma Ying Zhu, and other distinguished members of his delegation, the government and people of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, are pleased to use this singular occasion to reiterate unwavering commitment to the government and people of the Republic of China on Taiwan. In a few days, we will celebrate 30 years since the formalization of diplomatic relations with our good friend and ally, the Republic of China on Taiwan, which coincides with our own attainment of independence here in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Today, the signing of this communique comes at the end of a very productive visit which will see both nations moving forward, strengthened by a resolve for partnership, cooperation, and goodwill, which will augur well for our nation and our people as a whole. For the benefit of all, permit me to read the text of the joint communique that will be signed here today. Joint communique between His Excellency Dr. Ma Ying Zhe, President of the Republic of China, Taiwan, and the Right Honorable Dr. Denzil L. Douglas, Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis. At the invitation of Prime Minister the Right Honorable Dr. Denzil L. Douglas, His Excellency President Dr. Ma Ying Zhe led a delegation on August 18th and 19th, 2013, to visit St. Christopher and Nevis, where they exchanged views on the current state of world affairs and matters of mutual concern. His Excellency, Dr. Ma Ying Zhe, and Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas, reaffirmed that all nations should resolve disputes based on the principle of sovereign equality through peaceful means, such as discussion and consultation, 
Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas, stressed that issues related to the East China Sea must be resolved peacefully and expressed his admiration to His Excellency President Dr. Ma Yingzhe for his East China Sea Peace Initiative. The initiative has called for all parties concerned to shelve controversies and establish a mechanism for cooperation on exploring and developing resources in the East China Sea, thereby turning it into a sea of peace and cooperation. His Excellency Dr. Ma Ying Zhe extended his appreciation for the staunch support of the government of St. Christopher and Nevis for the efforts of the Republic of China to obtain its legal right to participate in international organizations. He also stressed that the Republic of China supports the economic integration of the Caribbean region. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas stated that he will call upon the United Nations to attach greater importance to the Republic of China's legitimate status in the international community. He also renewed his support for the Republic of China's meaningful participation in the activities of the United Nations specialized agencies, including the World Health Organization, WHO, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, and the International Civil Aviation Organization, the ICAO. His Excellency, President Dr. Ma Ying Zhe, lauded Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas, for his outstanding leadership and strenuous efforts to enrich his people's lives, especially for his medical expertise and dedication to improving the health of his people, which has paved the way for his being chosen as a spokesperson on health care and HIV and AIDS prevention in the Caribbean community. His Excellency Dr. Ma Ying Zhe applauded St. Christopher and Nevis for seeking to transform its economy through tourism. He stated that as a long-term and sincere ally, the Republic of China will continue to help St. Christopher and Nevis form links between its agricultural and tourism industries facilitate the development of renewable energy as well as information and communication technology locally and share the ROC's valuable economic development experiences with St. Christopher and Nevis. On behalf of the government and people of St. Christopher and Nevis, Prime Minister the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas extended his sincere appreciation to the Republic of China for assisting in the development of his country. In particular, he thanked His Excellency President Dr. Ma Ying Zhe for showing concern about the economic development of St. Christopher and Nevis. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas further expressed his heartfelt gratitude to the Republic of China for its assistance in various projects, such as the establishment of the Newton Ground Tourist Demonstration Farm, which has added value and diversity to local tourism products. The Prime Minister of the Twin Island Federation also extolled the accomplishment of the Republic of China's laptop initiative for students and teachers, which has greatly enhanced access to technology. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas also expressed sincere appreciation to the Republic of China 
for assisting in the development of renewable energy and alternative energy technology, which will advance his goal of becoming a green economy and reduce the dependence on fossil fuel. He also offered special commendation to His Excellency President Dr. Ma Ying Zhe's admiration for partnering with the government of St. Christopher and Nevis in the establishment of the Robert L. Bratcher International Airport Solar Farm, the installation of the solar PV on the rooftop of government headquarters, and the solar and LED streetlights on the two major roads in St. Kitts. In addition, Prime Minister the Right Honorable Dr. Denzil L. Douglas also expressed deep appreciation for other tangible cooperation in the areas of agriculture, education, and security, which have benefited the populace. The two leaders also witnessed the signing of a bilateral extradition treaty so as to further reduce crime and preserve social order. The two leaders conveyed their earnest gratitude for the sincere friendship and close cooperation between the two countries and stressed that they will continue to cooperate with each other in the hope of enhancing the common interests of their two peoples. His Excellency President Dr. Ma Yingzhe expressed the assurances of his highest consideration and earnest gratitude to Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas, and the government and people of St. Christopher and Nevis for the hospitality and courtesy accorded to him and the members of his delegation. Done in duplicate in the Chinese and English languages in Bastia, St. Christopher and Nevis, on the 19th day of August of the 102nd year of the Republic of China, corresponding to the 19th day of August of the year 200 and 2013 in the Gregorian calendar. At this time, we'll have the signing of the joint communique. I'll ask the protocol officers to assist.
Ladies and gentlemen, our guests of honor, the esteemed president of the Republic of China, Taiwan, His Excellency Dr. Ma Yingzhe will now address you at this time. Your Excellency. 恭请中华民国马英九总统致辞。The Right Honorable Prime Minister Denzel Douglas, Honorable Deputy Prime Minister Martin, Honorable Foreign Minister Patrice Nisbet, Honorable Members of St. Christopher and Nevis Cabinet, Ambassador Cao, Delegation Members, Friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's a great delight to be here in the home of St. Christopher and Nevis National Assembly to sign a joint communique with Prime Minister Douglas. On the cusp of 30th anniversary of independence of St. Christopher and Nevis, we also prepare to mark 30 years of diplomatic partnership. As we stand at a threshold of three decades of friendship, an event worthy of celebration, we can look back on how our two countries have together created a friendly, cooperative relationship and cultivated deep affection for one another. Particularly precious in the eyes is that our first country, St. Christopher and Nevis, established relations with following independence was the Republic of China, Taiwan. Now, 30 years on, I feel much moved at coming on the sacred home of the National Assembly to witness our friendship. Prime Minister Douglas works diligently and cares for the people. He is proactive and his contributions to the nation and legion. Your government under Prime Minister Douglas' leadership has lent strong support and spoken up for the ROC's participation in the international community and international organizations. On behalf of the government and people of the Republic of China, Taiwan, I want to express our heartfelt thanks to your government and people for these displays of friendship. I hope that as we celebrate 30 years of friendship, we will continue to work together to realize our vision of another three decades of friendship. Our government earnestly desires to partner with yours on tourism, green energy, agriculture, information and communications technology, and development of human capital. Our aim is to help you reach your development goals for the good of the people of St. Christopher and Nevis. The signing of this joint communique is as it highlights our commitments and pledges to each other regarding national development and international participation. But more than this, it affirms our commitment to work together for the benefit of both our nation's peoples and build a brighter future. Let us revel in this historic moment and may the Republic of China, Taiwan, and the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis long prosper. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I am pleased to call to the podium the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas, Prime Minister of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, to address you at this time. Prime Minister Douglas. Thank you. Ambassador Brown, our Master of Ceremonies. Your Excellency, Dr. Ma Yingxue, President of the Republic of China, Taiwan, 
the Honorable Curtis Martin, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Your Excellency Secretary General Yan of the Republic of China, Taiwan, Honorable Dr. Earl Asim Martin, our Deputy Prime Minister of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honorable Patrice Nisbet, our Minister of Foreign Affairs of St. Kitts and Nevis, Your Excellency David Yin, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of China, Taiwan, other Honorable Ministerial Representatives of the Delegations of the Republic of China, Taiwan, and St. Kitts and Nevis, members of the Legislature of the Republic of China, Taiwan, Your Excellency Mr. Joseph Ed Mead, our Cabinet Secretary, and Your Excellency Mr. Elvis Newton, the Head of the Civil Service and Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, other senior government officials of the governments of St. Kitts and Nevis and the Republic of China, Taiwan, other distinguished representatives of the Republic of China, Taiwan, and of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, good day. The visit of His Excellency President Ma Ying Zhe of the Republic of China, Taiwan, has been most instructive. And it has been instructive in that it has highlighted and underscored what we in this country and what the government and the people of the Republic of China on Taiwan have long known, namely, that two nations of shared democratic values and with a shared commitment to the advancement of their peoples can together, through the pursuit and development of strong bilateral relations, produce great benefits for their nations and for their peoples. St. Kitts and Nevis and the Republic of China on Taiwan are perfect examples of this. And the signing of this joint communique today is quite indicative. Although two island nations in dramatically different regions of the world, and despite our starkly different historical backgrounds, St. Kitts and Nevis and the Republic of China on Taiwan, nonetheless, they share a keen appreciation of the aspirations of each other's governments and peoples. And through our presence in various international institutions and the sharing of our respective areas of expertise, we each work assiduously to promote the interest of the other. Indeed, even a casual tour of St. Kitts and Nevis reveals the many ways in which the government of the Republic of China on Taiwan and the government of St. Kitts and Nevis have worked together for the benefit of our Federation. And the focus has been far from narrow. In the area of, in the area of agriculture, for example, whether in terms of the growing of crops or in the area of agro-processing, the level of collaboration has been both high and constant, with very clear benefits for the country as a whole. There has been a wider range of fruits and vegetables available to our populace, the flowers accessible to our hotels, to our homes and offices. They are now much more varied. And the, back, and the packaged foodstuffs and the beverages stocked in our stores now contain more items packaged right here in our beloved Federation. From climate change to healthcare, and from security to tourism, the government of the Republic of China on Taiwan and the government of St. Kitts and Nevis working together have produced extraordinary results for the people of our Federation. 
our move towards solar-powered highway and street lighting is now evident, as can be seen along the Kim Collins Highway and our Frigate Bay Road, and as also can be seen between Sandy Point and St. Paul's, for example. But our solar energy expansion is not limited only to roads and highways. Our affordable homes are being equipped with solar panels. Government headquarters operates on the power of the sun. Our own refurbished independent square lighting is solar produced and solar powered. In a matter of months, the Robert Llewellyn Bradshaw International Airport will be completely solar powered. And Speed Tech, the only solar panel manufacturing plant in the entire Eastern Caribbean area, but reaching into the wider Caribbean market, has its origins in Taiwan, is located in our federation, and it is yet another manifestation of the ways in which St. Kitts and Nevis and Taiwan bilateral relations have been nurtured and strengthened over the past 30 years. This new manufacturing capacity of St. Kitts and Nevis has come after several successful trade shows jointly with businessmen and captains and leaders of industry from both St. Kitts and Nevis and Taiwan. From the moment that St. Kitts and Nevis assumed full responsibility for our own internal affairs, ladies and gentlemen, we established education as a major priority in our island's ongoing development. This, the government of the Republic of China and Taiwan has long recognized and has long joined with us to facilitate with one of the most compelling manifestations of this collaboration being the number of nationals who have been awarded scholarships by the government of the Republic of China to study in Taiwan and who are now assuming a range of professional responsibilities in our country. The government of St. Kitts and Nevis and the government of Taiwan. They have arranged several cultural exchanges and our populations have been enriched culturally as a result. And because security, because it is so essential to the well-being of any nation, St. Kitts and Nevis and the Republic of China on Taiwan, we have collaborated in this important area as well with the government of Taiwan stepping forward to provide technical assistance and resource development support. The Republic of China on Taiwan was one of the first nations, as you've heard, with which we established diplomatic relations following our independence in 1983. And based on all that I have just said, however, our shared journey has clearly been one not merely of longevity, but one of shared values, one of mutually reinforced principles, and one of a respect and appreciation made manifest by each country's commitment to protect and advance the interest of the other. For all of these reasons, Your Excellency, your visit to our Federation has great value and great meaning. We thank you very much for coming. And with the signing of this joint communique, for adding to the already impressive annals of St. Kitts and Nevis and Taiwan history, yet another important and historic chapter. Your Excellency, St. Kitts and Nevis will continue to load the successful achievements that your country has made in the advancement of democracy and for demonstrating that the Republic of China has much to contribute to the international dialogue. Indeed, your government's pursuit to embrace a policy of adopting a pacific stance 
in improving cross-strait relations will continue to augur well, to augur well for regional peace and contribute significantly to overall global peace and security. I wish to place on record my own commendation for your leadership, your steadfast leadership that has resulted in the strides that your country continues to make to the global economy and in areas such as health security and climate change. St. Kitts and Nevis will continue to give support to your participation in international organizations and agencies where the enormous experience in these areas can impact the overall well-being of your citizens and the world's people as a whole. It is my fervent wish, it is my wish and indeed my sincere pledge to ensure that the long-standing relationship that now exists between St. Kitts and Nevis and the Republic of China on Taiwan will continue to grow, will continue to deepen for the lasting benefit of our countries and for the lasting benefit of our peoples. And so, as you prepare, Your Excellency, to leave our shores, it is my sincere hope that you would take with you the memories of our country and the people who will remain your friend and ally as we build on three decades of relations strengthened by cooperation on myriad issues of mutual interest. It will indeed be my pleasure to share with you in the coming months as you too take the time to celebrate and commemorate with your government and people important highlights of your own cultural experience. And so I wish you and your delegation a very safe onward journey and reiterate our profound appreciation for your visit to our country. God bless you, Your Excellency. Thank you. Your Excellency, Dr. Ma ying -Ju, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel L. Douglas, other members of Cabinet, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this important signing ceremony. Your Excellency, thank you for a successful inaugural visit and on behalf, as you would have heard the Prime Minister said, of the government and the people of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, please accept our profound appreciation to you, your good self, and your distinguished delegation for being here with us. We look forward to seeing you again in the not too distant future. <laughs> At this time, I'm going to ask you to stand for the departure of his Excellency, Chin the... One moment. Before we depart, I'd like to announce that His Excellency, the Prime Minister, will be visiting the Republic of China on Taiwan in November. <laughs> Thank you.